Zombies seem to be everywhere these days. At the box office, on television, and now in the new donut shop on Division. Dawn of the Donut has arrived in Spokane with a vengeance, thanks to a massive Facebook campaign and some abnormal marketing strategies. We're going to go out and take over Spokane, basically, with our own form of the zombie apocalypse, with our donuts, basically. While the building was being renovated, a massive sheet was put up with the words zombies inside. That created a stir. People were confused. They wanted to know what it was. And then once the actual Dawn of the Donut signs went up and were placed, people started to connect the two. With a few morbidly unique decorating ideas, a horror-themed menu, and a zombified donut sculpture, Dawn of the Donut quickly differentiated itself from every other restaurant in town. There's not a whole lot of places in Spokane that have a, have a theme to them or something interesting about them. And that's, that's something I think we can really offer to, to Spokane that's not around anywhere. Named after George Romero's 1978 classic, Dawn of the Dead. We've got a war. This is a store that not only attracts horror movie fanatics, it also employs them. I love the original Dawn of the Dead. I, the, that is fantastic. Where they're in the 70s mall and the biker gang comes. That, that is the definition of zombie movies to me. What are they doing? Why do they come here? Some kind of instinct, memory, what they used to do. This was an important place in their lives. Nearly every day since Dawn of the Donut officially opened, sleepy-eyed customers have flooded the building at 6 a.m. Lines of cars have stretched through the neighborhoods, and inventories have been decimated. Didn't have enough donuts to give people what they wanted, so we're giving the rest out for free. <laughs> really? Yeah. Kind of wish for this response from Spokane. Never, never in my wildest dreams did I think we'd get it. It's, it's just been amazing. I'm astounded. Though demand so far has been unreasonably high, most of the customers aren't even zombie fans. They just like donuts. A lot of seniors, a lot of retirees coming in that just want donuts and they keep coming back. Bites kill you, but then after a while, you come back. While management hopes it'll eventually mimic the success of Portland's world-renowned Voodoo Donut. Definitely want to make this in a, a tourist attraction and we want people from out of town coming here. But right now, they're taking it one slow step at a time. We keep running out our donuts before we can feed everybody, so we really want to get that nailed down before we start getting too far ahead.